what's up y'all welcome back to the vlog it is saturday march the 20th it's currently 6 38 a.m in the morning i am getting ready i'm about to brush my teeth so that i can go and pick my sister and my niece up from um from the airport um zahara is in there with my mom I I feel like I have a struggle. One is bigger than the other one. Which one is bigger than the other one? Can you tell? <laughs> the struggles of brushing. I used my Fenty this morning i need to do a skincare routine but i'm using the fenty total cleanser i already put that on my face and then i'm using the fat water um by rihanna's fenty skin i have not used the moisturizer yet but this fat water though is always a bit i love to just like put it on my face Yeah, this fat water is lit. Oh, my face was still a little bit soapy. I didn't even realize that. So I'm using that. On my skin. I need to take the moisturizer out of the box because I have yet to do that yet and try it out. So yeah, but I use that every morning on my face, um, and I'm debating on what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna leave these sweatpants on. Probably gonna put these leave these sweatpants on, put my Uggs on, cause I'm not getting out the car, or going anywhere. Um, and I'm trying to decide on if I wanna leave these on. At least I put my Uggs on or put my jumpsuit on with my Jordans. Can't decide. Um, Cause I don't know if we do stop somewhere. I don't want to be looking scraggly, but mm, I might put my jumpsuit on. All right, so I got my hair out. My baby is crying right now. I hope she don't do this once I walk out the door. But yeah, I got my hair out. I think I'm just gonna leave this shirt on. Cause like I said, I'm just running to the airport and coming back. I'm about to put a hoodie on, black hoodie on. And my baby is crying and then I'm gonna run to Starbucks and I gotta stop and get gas too and then we are going to get on the road. I'm always wearing black, y'all know me. I don't be I don't be getting dressed. I'll be trying to be as dressed down as possible, okay? Okay. What's wrong with my baby? Okay y'all, we just got back to the house. And Zahara is loving her TT. <laughs> Tip talk about she the baby whisper. She loves me. Watch this. Okay, you see. I can't see you because get? the light. You just farted. Uh, she pooped it. She pooped it. I know she did. Look that way. You can see your mama. Look, baby. You with Titi? She just woke up, y'all. So I'm warming up her bottles. Um. Because my mom didn't give her her milk. Well, she let her fall asleep in it. But we did go to Starbucks, too. I don't know if I told y'all that. We did go to Starbucks. I went to Starbucks on my way to get my sister and my niece from the airport. And then we went again coming back. Yeah, she been asleep since then. What's in her hair? Is that rice? No. <laughs> Rice? <laughs> Why is there rice in there? <laughs> what? I'm like, what? Yeah, I got a bottle warmer. I forget. I saw it there. Forget. <laughs> she be crying too fast for you. Girl. I mean, this don't be fast enough. How long it takes? Oh, I think it's done. Um, it just turned off. It said ten minutes, but not ten minutes. Not ten minutes, but you check the temperature when you get that. It's hot in the hood. It is hot. Oh yeah, it's definitely warm. You probably mean 10 seconds? 
I don't know. It said 10 minutes when no, you do. That's too hot. Don't give her that. I'm not. You see the steam coming out of there. Wait, hold on. Look. Maybe for sterilized. It said 10 and then M. Maybe for sterilized. No, it got both of it. Slow, defrost, steam, sterilized, steam. Mm -hmm. Oh, steam is supposed to be 8 minutes. That's why I said it wrong. Oops. Yeah, no, I'm not going to give her this yet. Oh, my way. It didn't really, it didn't get hot for real. Hold on. Let me see. It didn't really get hot for real. It's still cold at the bottom. Hold on. Let me check this, y'all. You want your bottle? Milk, bye bye. Milks. Milks. I'm, I'm looking for the boob. Uh, wait a minute. Come on. Is it warm enough? I checked it. I like this lady, mama. She's giving me motherly vibes. Uh, <laughs> mama in here, hey. <laughs> Oh, I love my baby uh, well, lady, I scream. I be screaming with you. Yeah, my baby twenty four. I'm weak. Mm -mm. All I have to do is my baby special. Give his Mickey Mouse pacifier upside down. I'm done. <laughs> I'll be super tired. What's up, y'all? Today is Monday, March the twenty second. Um, everybody is currently just chilling out. Miss Zahara is down here with her cousin. Say hi, Reese. Hi. Reese is down here with, well, Miss Zahara is down. Don't be trying to hide. She's like, I'm hiding my face. I'm not ready for the camera time yet, mommy. I'm not ready for the camera time. She always want to keep that one little foot out. Zahara, what are you doing, girl? She's watching a show called Goo Goo and Gaga, y'all. She loves Goo Goo and Gaga. I think she's outgrown boss, baby. This your laptop, you see? Yeah. She watching it on. Yeah. <laughs> you watching Goo Goo and Gaga? Get that blanket out your mouth. Who? Stop. No. Mommy got to go put your clothes on so we can get ready to go soon. So, yeah, that's what Zahara is doing. Um, yeah, her stuff is still sitting down here. I'm pretty sure y'all could read in between the lines with that of why her stuff is sitting right here, but we're not even gonna talk about that. So, anyways, um, yeah, baby girl didn't get a nursery or deserve a nursery, I guess. But anyways, um, so I am um just chilling out with them right now. I just got dressed, just took a shower and put my clothes on and stuff. It's about like 3:45. Um, we had like a super early morning with Zahara. Um, Tiff, my sister was even up at like 7 this morning when my mom got ready to go to work. Everybody was just up with Zahara. They took her for like a good hour or so and I was like trying to get a little bit of rest because Zahara was up at like 4 or 5 o'clock this morning watching Goo Goo and Gaga. So, yeah. But, oh yeah, Tiff is sitting right there. Her outfit is cute though. Outfit is cute though. She got on a cute. Where you get this set? Yeah, she was up um, watching the baby this morning too. So I feel like everybody is on a hard schedule right now. But um, I don't know if y'all know the death, the an what is it? The anniversary of the anniversary of my grandmother's death is actually tomorrow. Um, so we're supposed to be going to my grandparents' house. I'm taking the baby down there and then my sister and Greasy are going to see my grandfather and my uncle. And then we're gonna go to my grandma's grave site. Um, we finally did get her headstone and everything like that. So yeah, we're gonna go to my grandma's grave site and just be there for my mom and everything like that. So I know tomorrow is probably gonna be a hard day. Well, today is kind of like a hard day, but, but yeah. So that is basically the plans for today is Today is most likely going to be a travel day. We were supposed to leave earlier today, um, but everybody's just been very sleepy. I know I was. I was not in the mood to be driving, and I was still trying to upload the previous vlog, so Teeks Week number 15. If y'all haven't seen y'all that yet, y'all can go check it out. But, um, yeah, so I was just very tired, didn't feel like doing anything, but... We'll probably be going, leaving to go to my grandparents' house maybe within the next couple of hours. Probably once my mom gets here. I gotta actually get ready to pack Zahara's stuff up. Um, so yeah, gotta pack her stuff. Mom gotta pack your stuff, yeah. 
What are you doing, mommy? She be looking at me like. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta get ready to pack her stuff. Um, my mom had washed her clothes. Did you take this clothes out the dryer tip? Oh yeah, you did. She got all her clothes right here. They are clean. I have to fold them up. And I need to go through all of this stuff to see what's too small. Um, what's too big, what's too small. Um, and all of that good stuff. Fold this stuff up. Um, and pack it in her diaper bag and then i have to pack my stuff up as well so yeah i really went some starbucks um i don't know why i just love starbucks but yeah so i guess i'm just going to get ready to do this fold up her clothes and pack her stuff in her diaper bag because we are spending the night um it's okay so my brother is actually down here my brother Kijan. He was actually at the gender reveal. I don't, and he's on a clip of my baby shower clip. If y'all haven't seen my brother, and I don't know, I have a clip of when we all went to Atlanta with my other cousins. Um, so y'all probably seen him on some of these videos, but he's actually in Atlanta because he's planning on moving down here. So he's down here with his cousin and our other cousin, um, looking for like places and apartments, and he had an interview, job interview. So he was supposed to come down here today to see the baby, but. I forgot that we were going to my grandparents' house. Completely forgot. And then my other friend, Daisia, um, she was on my gender reveal vlog as well. She was supposed to come down here as well to see Zahara. Um, she just randomly was going to come down here to see her. And I had to tell her not to because I forgot that we were going to my grandparents' house. I don't know how I forgot. I don't know. I don't really know how I forgot everything that was going on. But, um, yeah, so I told them that they wouldn't be able to come probably maybe tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, we want to go to Atlanta tomorrow. Um, my other friend, Tyrena, is supposed to come in town as well with her mom because her mom's birthday is actually today. And they're coming into Atlanta for the week. Tiff and Reese actually leave on Wednesday. So maybe we'll do something tomorrow night in Atlanta. I don't know haven't really figured it out yet but everybody's gonna be in town so and i feel like i'm gonna need to do something tomorrow because i know it's gonna tomorrow's gonna be a very hard day so something to get my mind off of the occasion um i feel like yeah so yeah but yeah i'm gonna get ready to pack her stuff up zahara is officially almost four months she is three months and four weeks today that's what it says so i guess technically four months but yeah i've been had this little thing up so she doesn't have a nursery um i just put this little space right here up for her so i can just have something to just be excited about so yeah it's like her little space so yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed and get things together, and I will hit y'all up in a few. Oh wait, y'all! I forgot to completely forgot to tell y'all. Um, last week I think it was the week a couple of days before my sister and uh, Reese came for Tiff and Reese came. Um. My mom got new furniture. I didn't get to show y'all them. My grandpa and my uncle had came down to help her move her new furniture into um, what is no longer a man cave. It is now a woman cave slash glam room. Um, she moved her new furniture up here. And I didn't get to show y'all them trying to get the furniture up the stairs, which was really, really hard. Because um, the way that this, like upstairs part is so the door looks like this um when my grandpa and my uncle came and my mom's co-worker miss phyllis she actually helped out at my gender reveal she's at my gender reveal vlog too um she has blonde hair if i want to go back and watch it but she brought her truck and they 
moved the furniture that was up here downstairs and then they brung the new furniture up but they my uncle had to actually take that door off and take this rail just to get the couch up here and it was still hard for them to get the couch up here because of this little ledge and it was just a lot like i didn't get to vlog it because i had zahara like i don't know if y'all can tell there's like even like a scratch on the wall from them trying to get the the couch up here like my uncle struggled getting the couch up here um he said the couch fell on him when he got up to this part because i don't know if i ever showed y'all like coming upstairs to this part but my mom now has a glam room and i didn't get the vlog the other day when my sister was here we had like a little crab leg um seafood burl little like girls night it was me my mom reesey and the baby and we all just laid that blanket out um and we sat on the floor and ate our seafood broil and we were watching like Medea and everything <laughs> i didn't get to show y'all i forgot to vlog it i don't know why i forgot to remember him but it was really really fun and i don't really get to do that often with my sister and my mom and my niece so it was fun to just be able to relax and like have like a little girls moment but yeah um I'll definitely do like a vlog of my mom like decorating the upstairs part but it's really pretty it's really glammed out she just bought this um she just bought this uh clock she's trying to find little things to put up here she bought this rug which I absolutely love you guys know me and my mom's favorite color is purple and then she got the little this was a coffee table but she made it into a tv stand She's trying to figure out what she wants to put in the middle. I told her an ottoman would be cute to put in the middle. Like maybe like a velvet ottoman. So yeah. And she said when she went to go buy the couches. Um, the pillows came didn't come with the couches. She said they wanted $30 each for the pillows. <laughs> $30. But she, when my uncle went to go pick up the couch. Her and him and Miss Phyllis. They ended up throwing the pillows in there for free. Which is crazy. So and then she said she went back and got this little, it looks like a throw, but it's not a throw. I don't really understand the purpose of it. I guess it's just for decor, but it's just like something to throw on the back of the couch. She said it was in the little demo, so she got it. Um, but yeah, she got her little, this is actually my uh, candle that I brought home from my house, from my apartment. <laughs> She's just using it. My mom's using like all my stuff that I got from our apartment um then it's so funny she put the thing like a man book up here i'm like oh my god lady you are too much um my mom's on her sweetie stuff okay everybody on their sweetie stuff this i it's icy girl summer this summer okay icy girl summer no i'm just playing but and then she got this light let me turn it on you click it and it turns different colors um I hope, oh yeah so it turns like purple and red and it's really cute in the um at night zahara loves this at night and so yeah this is what she got she has to actually take that out of here and then she got the other um table and she's trying to figure out she was gonna order these like pictures off of amazon they were like these purple ones but i'm like ma where are you gonna put them because your ceiling is too low so i told her she could probably put like something over here um and then she'll probably be okay with putting like maybe like something right there since she had a sign she had a sign it was a sign that said man cave but of course it's no longer a man cave i don't know where she put that man cave cave sign but I told her she could find something to put up there and yeah she, we'll have to figure it out so but yeah so super cute definitely forgot to show y'all my mom's glam room i definitely think i'm gonna tell her she should get some type of curtains to put up there at the top um so yeah, and it's going to be cute. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Y'all, I don't think I've ever... Y'all have been up here before. I've showed y'all upstairs before. Um, she was trying to debate on if she wanted to make this into her like office space or like a little like glam dining room. And she's making it into a glam dining room because, of course, my mom doesn't have a TV downstairs. So, yeah. But... I'm about to go back downstairs so I can finish packing. I just wanted to show y'all that. I completely forgot to show y'all that. Um, so, yeah. All right. Now I'll talk to y'all a little bit later.
What's up, y'all? I didn't get to show y'all where I was at. Um, today is March, March the 26th. It is Friday, and y'all see Hobby Lobby is behind me because I just left out of Hobby Lobby to get a few different things that I needed to finish up some of my uh, projects for my vintage shop. So my mom has Zahara right now. I had actually pumped some milk and left it with my mom for Zahara. And um, yeah, my mom was doing a conference call. So um, I think I'm about to... I kind of want some Starbucks um, a little bit. So I think I might run to Starbucks. I don't want coffee. I actually want some like um, juice type of Starbucks for some reason. So, um, and I get double points this week, I feel like. Or was that only yesterday? I don't know if I go to Starbucks. So I'm thinking about going to Starbucks real quick. But I picked up... Um, some shirts for our TVT Unlimited because I need to press our logo on our shirts for when we go live. And then I picked up some other little spring shirts that I want to do a DIY project on. And I picked up a red hoodie that I want to do a project on um, because I want to make like a little two-piece set and maybe like print something on the two-piece set. So I haven't decided yet. Um, we were supposed to go to atlanta because my um my mom best one of her friends from up back at home and one of my friends their mom and daughter too so um we were supposed to go see them they are actually in town they've been in town since tuesday my sister left on wednesday no tuesday and come to find out my sister has I don't want to say it on the video because I don't want to get striked. But yeah, my sister did find out that she was. So, yeah, unfortunately, she is sick. Me and my daughter are okay. Me and Zahara are good. My mom doesn't have it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, my sister had a very, very, very high fever. Um, like the like last couple of days of her being here in Georgia um so she's feeling like she may have got it um like from back at home um and she didn't start feeling like the symptoms until she um got here so yeah so she did you know get that right now she's doing okay she's just been trying to rest and like build up her immune system um but my sister does have um rheumatary arthritis so she does have flare-ups so her she is very prone to being able to get it she's more vulnerable vulnerable to it than we are hold on my mom is calling me let me call her i'm at starbucks you guys okay i just got no oh, shit girl Is sleeping. Ma, you woke her up. Go back to sleep, girl. My mama freaking woke his heart up. Look at him. Just do it. Girl, go back to sleep. <laughs> go back to sleep. I just woke my freaking baby up. She up and stuck. <laughs> she up. Yes, cause you work. She left. Cause you called. The phone was freaking ringing. <laughs> she cracking up. I'm up, up, I'm up and I'm up and I'm up and I'm stuck. What? Okay, so anyways, I'm back from the Hobby Lobby. Zahara's papa is here, so they got her. Her, him, and my mom. But um, oh. So what I was basically trying to say is, um, before I show y'all the stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby, my sister did um, catch 
you know what i don't want to like say it on the video because it will strike me for saying it but she did catch it so long story short my sister and my niece got here they got here saturday they got here saturday went and picked them up from the airport everybody was completely fine nobody felt sick or anything like that um come like a couple of days i think like maybe like sunday or monday my sister started feeling sick so she i remember i briefly remember her saying like she was sick but i didn't think anything of it like my sister has rheumatoid arthritis so i was kind of like thinking maybe she was like sick because of that like um because i know she has like flare-ups and stuff like that so i'm like not thinking nothing of it really wasn't thinking about the virus so um she was feeling sick so i guess like the whole time she was here she had told my mom she was like yeah i'm saying it's feeling sick and she was like distancing herself from me and the baby and i'm like why is my sister acting weird like but my mom had told me she felt like she, the symptoms could have been you know what so she was like she didn't want to get me and the baby sick but she didn't know prior to coming that she she wasn't sick prior to prior to getting on the plane like um so she i remember her briefly like taking her temperature it was like monday morning i think or sunday morning and I didn't think nothing of it. She was like, I was like, what you doing? She was like, oh, I'm taking my temperature. I'm like, oh, literally, y'all, I didn't think nothing of it. So, um, a couple days later, she's like hiding out in my mom's guest room. Like hiding out. I'm like, what is, I'm like, why is she? And so I kept saying like, come get TT's baby. Come get TT's baby. And my mom told me that the whole time she kept telling my sister, don't you touch that baby. Don't you touch that baby or whatever like that so they basically were like trying to keep it under wraps they didn't want me to know that she was feeling sick um because they didn't want me to be mad my mom didn't want me to be mad at my sister and my sister didn't want me to be mad at her because she had no symptoms coming down here like she had no clue that she would have you know the so yeah that happened um so no symptoms nothing like that um and then a couple of days after that Reese, my niece actually started like coughing and stuff like that too so they kind of were gaining the symptoms so then what day was that that we went to my grandma's i can't remember but y'all are watching on this vlog but when we went to my grandma's i think it was tuesday um or yeah it was tuesday i think or monday night one of them um tuesday when we got to my grandparents house my sister left i never knew that she had left or whatever she left and she went to walgreens to go take a um test and they told her that they couldn't give her back a rapid test so she couldn't get a rapid test so she still didn't know if she had it or not so um wednesday morning when she finally got on the plane which she had been trying to avoid me and the baby as much as possible um, when she got on the plane, she said she was feeling really, really sick, like she couldn't breathe. She just knew something was wrong. And my mom and my sister both said that her, when she was here, she had a high fever. Like it, her fever was like 101 or something like that, something of that sort. So when she got back on the plane, um, when they got, went to go home, um, yeah, she said she went straight to the emergency room and that's when they told her she had it. So yeah, so now she has the quarantine. Um, and she just started a new job and she had to tell her job that she couldn't make the first day of her job um, because of, you know, having it or whatever like that. So it's really messed up. But uh, me and my mom and my sister, me and my mom and the baby, we all checked our temperatures and we're OK. Like, I'm going to keep checking our temperatures throughout the week, but we've been OK and my sister and my niece um they flew of course back to ohio and they're just basically quarantining separately from each other um so yeah and my sister's boyfriend is just gonna help her like get food and stuff like that and drop door door dash her stuff and stuff since she can't really like come out of the room and things like that but yeah other than that we are fine um i told my sister i was like i would have no you didn't have to try to hide it while you were here because it would have been different if you knew you had it and then you flew down here and then you were around us. But you didn't know anything like and you could have caught it. Who knows where she could have caught it or whatever. She could have. I don't know. Can you catch it while 
like how many i don't know how many days it takes for the symptoms to come up but um yeah so that's what happened with that um so yeah we're thinking about going to atlanta but we're kind of like skeptical because of that happening with my sister so y'all it is real out here be safe and make sure y'all are wearing your freaking mask but um anyways let me show y'all what i got from hobby lobby i look crazy i have my hat on let me show y'all so this is the stuff that i got from hobby lobby um i'm gonna be doing a two-piece set um with this that little nike outfit i don't know if i showed you all this nike hoodie that i got but i want to make a two-piece set they did not have this thick cord like for um the little hoodie part that i want to make little scrunched up crop top so i'm gonna have to order that off amazon but i did get the cord stoppers to you know like how you put on like hoodies and stuff um they only had the cord elastic like this like very thin cord elastic and there's five yards of this but i'm going to be using this for a crop top that i'm making so i got two white ones because they are five yards these were 2.29 a piece you guys will see i'm going to make a crop top and then i just got some extra one in black because i don't know if i want to use black or white but yeah i'm going to make like this little tie up crop top it's going to be super cute um, I got a lint roller for like when I package my orders and stuff like that. I can get all the lint off of everything because I needed one of those. Um, I got these gummy worms. I mean gummy bears because I really like these particular gummy bears. <laughs> and I've seen them in line so I picked them up even though I don't really need them. Um, so I did get that. And then... Ah, where is it? Oh, come on. Then I got the pink thread that I was telling you guys I needed the hot pink thread for to sew up the cropped blazers so i did get that next thing i got were um these shirts so i'm gonna be doing some shirts you guys will see i got this um blue color for the spring these are size medium and then i got this pink color and i'll show y'all the project that i'm gonna do but i got these in medium um super cute idea that i'm going to do then I got me and my mom these white shirts because I'm going to make our logo t-shirts um, with our heat press. So I got me a small and I got me and my mom a medium so that I can do that for when we go live. We can have our branded t-shirts. And then I got this super large um, hoodie because I want to test out a... Um, I want to test out creating a two-piece set um another two-piece set like short set so i got this extra large hoodie this hoodie was freaking expensive it was 17.99 but whatever i got this red hoodie so i'm gonna try to test out making a two-piece um set and i think i might see if i want to put them on my website as well on thomas sakara so yeah um that is pretty much all that i got from um hobby lobby and I have to go ahead and order some stuff off Amazon still. But this should get me by to be able to do work on some of the projects that I've been trying to work on. Um, I think I'm going to, like I said, finish up the crop blazer and then work on the um, crop top that I want to make. And then I have some other stuff that I can make while I'm waiting for um, some of my other sewing supplies to get here from Amazon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. Order some stuff off Amazon and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and I need to edit this blog tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna about to start editing too, so that way I can get this footage up tomorrow. Um, because I need to get back on schedule and stop getting behind on posting my Teak Sleep vlogs. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Um, I might just go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, yeah, I might just go ahead and end the vlog here. If not, I'll update y'all in a few hours to let y'all know what I'm doing. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Okay.